what's up? It's Mr. Mark Twain Tarantula, and today we're going to be doing uh, a tour on my 29 tarantulas. Uh, I hear a lot of people in this hobby that they have a um, hundred or fifty, and I think that within this year that passed, I acquired a lot of tarantulas that I'm proud to own. I have some uh, some great ones that are a must-have in this hobby. So, um, without further okay. ado, this is my Therophos Sturmi, my Burgundy Goliath bird eater named Egypt, and she is about four and a half, close to five inches. Let's see. You see her in there? In her hide. See, I have the water dish and I have the real plant inside. I found closure. Um, I'm gonna give her a, a check for moistness. It's, it's pretty good in there. So that's her. Then we're gonna go down to my boreal section. And here you can see my P. Metallica webbing up her um, enclosure, and I'm believing that she is due for a molt very soon. That's the reason why she's going crazy webbing. And her name is Rain, and this one just experienced a molt. This is another P. Metallica. Uh, this one is real. I just experienced a molt, and that's real over there. Okay. This is my Pocatharia Sophia. And this one webbed up as well. I'm not sure if it um if it molted, but um it's possible that it did. I don't want to disturb it too much. But this is my Vicularia Versicolor. Named it after me, Tega. And um, it swept up its enclosure pretty good, so I'm expecting that to give me a mold as well. Okay, and here I have my Lampropelma violosa piece, which is my Singapore blue female, suspect female. Okay, and and here is my Salmopomus Sal aramina, which is. It always covers up covers up its hide. I'm expecting it to molt uh, any day now. New arrival is my T plum mites. I do have to put water in that enclosure, and I will in a moment. But look at the size on her. It's definitely a female. She's gorgeous. Um, gorgeous. Look at her. All of the three inches. You should see like the colors shimmer on her. This camera is not doing her any kind of justice. This is my Pocatharia Vitata Storm Ghost, Ghost Ornamental. Okay, let's go down to my Terrestrials. Okay, those are my GGBs. The first one, I named Ninja because this little bugger is everywhere inside the enclosure and the other one you see it I named that stamps after even though that's a female I named her stamps after my bro um, Steven stamps site okay here I have uh, Brachypalma alipulsum the curly hair it's actually the second tarantula I, I, I purchased in while getting in the hobby and since I've had her she has gained a significant amount of size. I mean, this girl is easily two and a half inches right now. I'm a very, very proud parent, and I have to water her dish as well. Uh, these are Brachypalma alipulsums, and these two are Brachypalma alipulsums. Okay, and here I have my Brachypalma vagus. This did experience a moat not so long ago. And I don't know if it's out and about or if it's hiding. It does deserve some water. I 
do not see it. I do not see it. Let's check this other end. Okay. Well, this one has water, actually. Okay, there it is. That is my Mexican red rum. So, and there we have the Brachypal Masala Possum, the Guatemalan red rum. There behind, I have a Brachypal Bohemi, the Mexican fire leg. And I'm expecting that to mow any day now. Like any day, any day now. Okay, we have the Grandma Stolo Plumites, the Charcoal Golden Knee. And um, it's pretty active. And I have another Grandma Stola uh, Plumites, the uh, Charcoal Golden Knee. And this one molted for me not so long ago. Does have some size to her. And, and here we have the Bracky Palma Smithy classic named to Xena because this princess is definitely a warrior get a look at her she molted not so long ago for me maybe she'll molt again soon enough she does have water and this is a smaller Brachypalma smithy it's um still in it's a little dugout hiding itself, so I'm expecting this to molt if it hasn't molted already. This is the Brachypalma vagus red rump female that I have on its way. And this is just an enclosure that I have prepared for her. But in here, I do have a Grandma Stola Rosea, famous sugar baby. The first girl that brought me back into the hobby. You know, I was out for a while, and you know, she she's definitely the reason why I'm back. Okay, here we have the world's smallest tarantula, the Aphon Palma paloloma. And here she is, and look at her. Like, literally, look, my finger, the tip of it is. And she's a full-grown female, and the tip of it is bigger than she is, so. small girl okay and here we have my C Darlingi my rear horn baboon and it is over there cleaning itself okay and here we have my Eurathus species yellow my mature female Lucy and my mature male Ricky I've tried to pair them I haven't actually seen them mate but I have shark tanked them twice and left him in her enclosure overnight so in a few weeks hopefully I'll see her webbing up and making um, and making a den I hope I'm praying so uh, that's the tarantulas now I'm gonna count this one but let's count them one she's in here somewhere One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I haven't showed you guys my Acanthoscaria genicolata. This one is an eater. So that's eight. Let's just do this recount all over again. I didn't even get to show or if uh, that's bad. Okay, so let's do this count again. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. With these four, that is eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Tarantulas. I'm in there. All right. Well. So, you see my collection, uh, Theraphosis Thermi, my Boreals, Pocatheri Metallica, Pocatheri Metallica, Pocatheria, Subfuchsia, Lowland, 
the Vicular Versicolor, the Lampropelma by Losopes, which is the Singapore Blue, my Sal Salopelma Armenius, uh, the Sun Tiger, my Pocatharia Vitata, Ghost Ornamental, my T. Clomipes, my Tapacaneus, I think I'm saying that right, Clomipes, um, and she's just gorgeous laying down right now, stretching her legs out, um, my Brachypelma Smithies, big uh, juvenile to the sling, uh, my Cantuscaria genicolata, my Brazilian Giant White Knee, both of my Grandma Stole Plumites, the Chocolate Golden Knee, the Brachypalma Vagus, the Sling, the Brachypalma Salopulsum Sling, and uh, the Vagus is the Mexican Red Rump, and the uh, Salopulmus is the Guatemalan Red Rump. I have the Brachypalma Bohemi, Mexican uh, Red Leg. I have five Brachypalma aliposums. I have two uh, green bottom blues. I have uh, G. rosea. I have two Eulathus species uh, yellow, mature male, mature female. I have a uh, Phonopelma paleloma, mature female. I have the C. darlingi, the rare horn baboon. So that is. About 29 specimens. I have a great collection, and um, this is Mark Twain Tarantula, the CEO of TarantulaFacts.com. T A R A N T U L A Facts F A X dot com. Gun smoke. Thank you for tuning in, YouTube.